Hi, I'm Chris Thompson from Investor Intel, and today we're with Marcy Kiesman, the President, CEO, and Chairperson of Durango Resources on the TSX Venture Exchange. DGO is the symbol. Uh, currently trading at around uh, seven cents with a market cap of six million dollars. Um, it is a company uh, that is focused on Quebec with some very interesting projects across a variety of mineral resources. So, uh, welcome. How are you today, Marcy? Good, good. Thanks for having me. <laughs> That's great. So, you are focused on the Abitibi uh, region of Quebec, uh, and your last project that I saw some results from was uh, you had uh, your windfall project. Uh, and you had some interesting silver results from a, a, a gold project. Can you comment on that? <laughs> yeah, well, not necessarily silver results, but we actually had some visible oh. uh, silver, yeah. uh, properly called native silver in our drill core. Uh, and yes, it is true. We were um, actively searching for gold next door to uh, a Cisco mining, uh, which is a pretty well-known project here in Canada. But um, sometimes you can get the native silver in these sorts of uh, hydrothermal systems. And basically, it's just when the it's a magmatic system. And when the hot fluids are coming up, it, the gold will be deeper. And then as you go closer to the surface, you'll get elements such as uh, silver that uh, hang around and are closer to surface, which makes sense because we were not drilling anywhere near the depths of what a Cisco has been drilling. And we're basically going in and testing the environment to make sure that um, we are able to get some gold at depths. And so we've had some IP anomalies that we've been testing and uh, had the silver, which is great, a great indicator. Uh, we can see association next door to uh, with the Cisco because they've had actually native silver in with their visible gold, but they've had it at much deeper um, depths than we have. We didn't have any visible gold. And we're hoping we'll get some assays at return with the, even some sort of gold grades to go along with this silver. And then uh, we'll know we just got to go back and drill deeper to have a, a, a pretty good chance of uh, replicating some results. <laughs> so, so you've been drilling a windfall uh, in the, the first part of this year. How are the drill results coming from the lab these days? There's a lot of backup because of COVID and, and also because the, yeah. there's a huge amount of activity. How are your drill results? Well, we are, have been expecting them any day for the last few weeks. And uh, from what I understand, there's dribs and drabs, but there's nothing that we can't even get a, a whole hole together yet. So it's bits and pieces kind of everywhere. Um, so hopefully we'll get all the final results. We're really looking forward to see um, what kind of results we'll get, especially on the hole where we had the visible silver. It would be interesting to see what kind of grade we'll get. And uh, hopefully there's a little bit of gold associated with it. So we can go back in and uh, drill deeper depths and get some nice gold grades. Yeah. And so once you get that and do the analysis, will you plan another a drill program later on this year there? Yeah, yeah, we have permits uh, for to continue drilling up there. Um, we just didn't want to go and blow the bank and continue to drill and drill and drill until we had uh, our first round of results yeah. showing if the system is in fact uh, bearing gold with the silver. So it's kind of that's one of the drawbacks of being uh, the junior with the six million dollar market cap. You got to <laughs> conserve your money and, and oh, not yeah. spend it unless you have a you know you're going to have a pretty good chance of success. So. Yeah. So in the meantime, uh, yeah, and I guess this makes sense. And in the meantime, you're moving off to another exciting project that uh, has got a lot of attention these days up near Shibugamu for your discovery project. So what are you doing yeah. up in that region? Yeah, so um, basically we've had some previous work over the years up in, we've had this project for quite a long time and this, have been slowly working along it. It's a pretty decent sized project. It's around 7,000 hectares and it's pretty complicated geology. Uh, basically, it's it covers an important geological structure. It's kind of it's called a hinge fold or a nose fold in geological terms, and it's where the um, there's been a collision of two large chunks of rock, and then one is veering and takes a nice thirty degree turn to the northeast. Um, it's on strike with uh, Troilus, the old past producing Troilus mine, and um, we've found some gold at surface in uh, quartz veins and basalt, uh, six and seven grams per ton. So what we're looking to do is to go up and with a machine and strip the area down and uh, try to get a good idea of the direction to make sure everything's going the way we hope it's going uh, in order to um, 
get some drilling done later this summer. And how many holes do you think you'll be doing up at the Discovery project? Well, we've permitted for 15. Um, we can always add or take away. Uh, we've done some AI over the last couple of months while we've been waiting and um, holding up, waiting waiting for all the results. We're trying to keep busy and get everything else uh, moving forward. Um, so we've got two um, really interesting AI anomalies that have been generated and they're both um, pretty decent size, which is fantastic. Um, so we're going to... Uh, be doing a lot of um, groundwork in the area and like I said stripping and then uh, eventually be poking a few holes just to test especially the one target is is quite large so chances hmm. are we we can't really miss it as long as we get to the right depths. <laughs> <laughs> and how deep will you be drilling? Um, well it's looking like we'll probably do a few deeper holes that would be maybe like down to like five or six hundred meters and then okay. we'll be doing some that are shallower too just so we can make sure that we actually hit have a chance of hitting the target so so what are what can investors expect from you from news and activity for the rest of the year then uh we're going to be having drill results obviously and uh more results from uh some surface work we've got a uh, few different companies interested in doing potential partnerships with us on some of our projects so Hopefully things will get, get better. We'll get some nice results and get our share price up and make our shareholders some money. <laughs> and what's your current cash position? My, my financial terminal says 1.6 million, but it's always about three months behind. How are you set right now for funds? Yeah, yeah. Year? Well, we still have cash in the bank. We we're trying to be conservative, hence not continuing to drill deep holes until we know we've got gold in the ones that we're already drilling. Yeah. Um, but uh, we'll probably be raising money sometime in the next little bit, um, just because we do want to poke a couple holes in up in the Shibugamu area. And same thing with our Namaska. I think we'll, uh, we'll serve our shareholders well to prove our projects up a little bit more before we make plans to do anything else. So so yeah, so far so good. We've got a lot of warrants that are actually outstanding as well. So if we get things moving and the gold and silver prices continue to go in our favor, then I think it uh, should be a good summer. Well, it looks like there's lots of exciting things happening for you this summer. Uh, thanks for your time. Uh, and I'm Chris Thompson uh, for Investor Intel. Have a great day. Thanks so much, Chris.